Um, today I want to talk about a little bit of a, um, a very personal subject for me and something that um, for older transitioners, um, I mean, when I say older, I mean, you know, even past mid-20s, uh, I think very often it's going to be the case that um, you're in a relationship uh, when you um, decide that, uh, or not decide, but come to the realization uh, that, that you need to transition. Um, when I had started this, I, under the absolute most honest and best intentions, believed that my relationship with my girlfriend at the time could work and that there could be a good, managed, slow resolution to things that would work for both of us in the event that it would not work. I took what I believed at the time to be um, reasonable precautions, not precautions, measures to ensure that my girlfriend was informed as to what was going to happen, what might happen, and all of that stuff. And they were 100% genuine. And I truly believe that one way or another things would work out and it would be a happy ending for either of us, both of us. Sorry, not either of us, both of us. And, um... And that, um, no matter what, you know, we were going to stay close, even if we weren't in a romantic relationship. And I think that's the case for a lot of different trans people. Um, in my case, so to share the personal aspect of this and my experience and what I have to say about it based on my experience, it may not necessarily be the case for everyone, but it is the case for me, and I have to think that for a lot of people, um, if you're, if you are trans, and, um, and you know that you are attracted to the, um, to a uh, to the sex that is uh, not consistent with the sex of your partner, or uh, your partner is not attracted to the sex that you will be transitioning to, or the gender that you will be transitioning to. I think you're much better to to just uh, not. You don't have to do it right away, but you know, set a very short timeline. I would say three months, a half year at the very most. And uh, this video is for both trans people who will be transitioning and their partners. I, of course, am a transsexual male to female. In my case, um, things started out very good and my ex-girlfriend was incredibly supportive and all of the hard times that I went through, she she supported me through all of it. She helped me pick out clothes, got clothes for me. She gave me advice. She gave me encouragement. And, um...
and I really owe getting where I got in my transition to her. And um, I really wanted our relationship to work. But as time went on with the hormone therapy, my intimate feelings toward her gradually diminished and eventually where it was the opposite where the thought of being with her intimately was very gross to me. It just felt wrong. And no matter what I did, it just The fact is that, in my case, I was, and I don't know, maybe it's because of testosterone, I've thought of many different things, I'm not sure, but I was attracted to girls, to women, and I did love my girlfriend, genuinely, and after hormone therapy, it changed. <laughs> However, deep in my mind, in my heart, even as a child, I always knew that I was attracted <laughs> to men. Not, at least at that stage, <laughs> the physical aspects of men, but simply the idea, the abstract idea of being with a, a male partner. And if you are beginning transition or considering beginning transition and you have this history of these abstract attractions, then I would say that I'm not sure how common this is, but you should definitely take into account that what happened to me could happen to you, and therefore you and your partner need to make the appropriate choices so that both of you are protected. You know, if you go through your transition, and two or three years later, you're still attracted to your partner or whatever that you broke up with. Now, you can still get back together, but in my opinion, it's just not worth just sort of seeing how things go. Because one or both of you is probably going to end up very hurt. And in my case, My, my ex-girlfriend absolutely hates me and I, I tried everything to try and make it right in supporting her financially and it's just nothing seems to be enough or was enough. And I have the feeling that I, she makes me feel that I destroyed her life. And honestly, to some degree, I have to agree because I can understand it. That you have a long relationship with somebody and you're close and you're together every day for years. And you have big plans for the future. And then not because of something somebody consciously, purposefully does. 
it just goes away. And I, I went in to things with the absolute best intentions, but it was ultimately the wrong way to do things. Because my now ex-girlfriend got very hurt and she's still hurting a lot. And I feel so guilty that I couldn't find a way to make our relationship continue to work. Because she was so supportive to me and she really, really loved me and she even wanted to have a family with me. And now it's all gone. So, that's what I have to say about relationships, if you're transitioning. Please, if you're watching this, and you're in such a relationship on either side, I implore you to deeply consider what I have just said. And really do some soul searching and be honest with yourselves. And um, think twice, you know. Okay, that's it.